What's your all-time favorite video you're proud of? Is it the first Among Us one? Um, no, I always say that it's the Fortnite um, documentary one I made. When I say Fortnite, I think a lot of people are like, what, really? But I, um, I had so much fun making that video. I can show a bit of it. People are curious. It's where, um, I think most of you know about it by now, because I've had this question before. But uh, I was playing with Floppy, and when he died, he spectated me and um, talked as if he was David Attenborough. And then I went into the movie maker thing, the theater mode of Fortnite after. I went into the theater mode and uh, edited it as if it's camera angles, as if it's an actual documentary. And his, it, it, I'm really proud of it because I spent a lot of time and effort, put a lot of effort into the angles and making it look like a documentary. And it's really funny when you know that Floppy improv the whole thing. He's doing it live as I'm playing. And I added the background noise, obviously. We jump on board with Tia. So this is camera angles this taken from the game. is unique to the lands of retail row. After gazing the sunlight, Tio 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 likes to make his way into different building sets around his current location. I actually haven't seen this in a while. I could watch some. After this creature has found enough resources, it will hibernate and migrate <laughs> to greener pastures. You see this creature here currently on two different scenarios. One, he's wary of his own health and well-being. And two, he's on the hunt. You know what's um, funny about this video? I spent... Um, with with uh, with their theater mode, with Fortnite's theater mode, whenever they came out with an update, which was weekly, all previous games you had saved corrupted, and I was like on a race Yoink. against time to get this finished before it would corrupt and get all the angles done. And literally, they used to update at that time at like nine in the morning, and it was like eight p.m. the day before they update, and I, I had this great idea, and I was like, "Fuck it, I gotta do an I have to do an all nighter and just fucking pull through and get this because I I really love this idea, you know." And I was up until pretty much until the update, eight nine a.m., just uh, getting it all sorted and getting all of these angles. I was doing this in the middle of the night. I just told Alex, like, "I'm not going to sleep. I gotta do this." In the wild. So for me watching this, I remember sitting there at like 3 a.m. getting all these angles and looking at the timeline being like, fuck, there's so much left to do. Uh, and uh, I remember, and that's why, that's part of why I'm so proud of it because I, I it, as I said, it took a lot of effort and time. The Tio has been seen to produce many different types of sounds during battle and hibernation. Right here we see the Tio currently being stealthy and quiet. This is a classic sign for the Tio species as he is currently in predator mode. They have a really good camera in the mode past, in Fortnite. The I don't know if they still do. Has been seen I'm sure they do. Doing quite outrageous things. But in today's world, he goes for what's known as the trick shot. Was he in a call with currently you? Currently yep, overthrowing just on Discord. by a mile. I recorded so that I... <laughs> the T.O. finds satisfaction just in voice. murdering other species of his own kind. He is a cannibalistic type of male. Honestly, Floppy's improv as, he makes as I'm his playing way here is so good. Row, he starts to see the numbers of the server dwindle. This creature thrives in these scenarios. I recorded separate audio tracks so that I had both game when sound the and is uh, threatened, Discord. The attacker be wary. The Tio can pounce and bounce around upon building great structures to defend himself. Oh, I'm 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 staying mainly quiet during most this. of the time. When I say Tio I laugh on sometimes, the hunt, but it's muted. But in this scenario, we see Tio playing it smart. He's letting the opponents dwindle each other's numbers before he 
jumps in. So I'm seeing a lot of questions about it. When I I don't record much these days, so it's all one audio track. But when I do record, you get you get one audio track that's your mic, one audio track that's the game, and one audio track that's with Floppy. I was playing the game. Floppy started commentating as I'm playing, and I started acting a little bit more like an animal and crouching in bushes and stuff. This was all live, and he's improvising as I'm playing. And then afterwards, I cut out, so I only had the track of Floppy's voice, not mine and not the game. And then I went into the game in theater mode after and got all these angles uh, in time with his voice. And I did fun angles to make it look more like a documentary. And takes the loot. Let's watch. I think I used DX Tori back then. They haven't updated in a while. An enemy has been spotted. The species is taking his time before he pounces. He's letting the attacker know that he is aggressive, but is also trying to get him to leave Retail Row. You like the camera wobble? Thanks. If this does not succeed. I like that detail. Two will pounce. I was literally just slowly moving my hand around with the mouse. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, Tio usually thrives when at full health, but in this current instance, he's quite low. This means the Tio species has to play it smart, otherwise he will go from being the hunter and become the hunted. A wise move from the Tio. He's found some rogue bandages left by dead prey. He takes advantage of the scavenge. It doesn't take too long to edit once you um, get into it and sinking. And he stuff. attacks. The Tio has currently moved into pounce mode and he's ready for a strike. Will he come out on top? Sure, Duckville. I don't mind it. He I knows the enemy is nearby, but has lost track. A sight. He's currently in the advantage position. And this may be the time we see the Tio 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 eat. An offensive has been made. He puts pressure on the prey as he strikes. With low health, the prey seems to be defensive. I love Tio this comes part. Out on top. The Slav dance. As a sign of victory and mating dance, the Tio moves into the Slav. This allows creatures of many variants to see him at a distance and know of his victory. If a female were to be nearby, this would be <laughs> a great day. You know, I, I really cannot stress the fact that Floppy is improvising. He's improvising all of this. I may have done a few edits. So for example, when I started dancing there, I know for a fact that he said the Slav dance and started talking about it a few seconds later. But for timing wise, I moved it up a couple seconds to make it feel more natural. But he's improvising all of this. And secondly, these angles, while it all flows very smoothly here, I'm using the theater mode. Meaning every time a cut finishes and there's a new cut for the next part of it, I pause, go to the timeline, move it back, have to find the angle. It took a good like 10 to 12 hours that I had to do that night. Like it, it's really, it was really difficult. So both editing wise, it took longer to get the angles than it did to put the video together. And his improv, this is why I'm so proud of the video. Because there's genuinely so much fucking like... Just raw skill. <laughs> I really, I really build myself up. But I'm at this. When you ask what I'm most proud of, that's why I'm really proud of this video. The Tio 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 is a smart player in this environment, as now he does not need to scavenge the entire city. His prey has done that for him. The Tio now has a full loadout. Shotguns, assault rifles, and health opportunities as he moves in for his next battle. Numbers in the servers have been dwindled. 32 seconds on the clock 
means they will be migrating towards his location. Whether elsewhere has gone downhill as Tio owns and thrives in his current environment. Oh, I just looked up the music on Epidemic Sound, searched like I searched a lot of like other Africa and documentary and stuff like location. that. And then for this, you know what I'd do? I would find like, for this moment, for example, I'm running around a lot and Floppy's not saying that much. And I'm like, okay, I don't want me just running silently here for 20 seconds. And I don't want to cut ahead because I want it to feel like one story like documentaries often do. So for whenever you see this, it's because Floppy's quiet for a second because I'm just looting. So I'd look at the map and there's a circle on the theater mode of Fortnite of where you can cut to. And anyone in that area, uh, you can actually spectate. And so here, this moment, Floppy goes quiet for a while. So I'm like, oh, fuck, I need, to, I need to show something to keep the story feeling natural. That's why I, f I found these guys on the map, and I was like, oh, this is perfect to kind of cut to. 23 other predators. Ah, for this one, he location. also mentions it, so I guess it worked even better. But there's a lot of those moments where I tried to fill it out with other people to keep it interesting, I guess. That it timing is times was a bitch, by the way. Scavenge for material. Hold up. This is such a, like, I'm really... If you want to watch the video without my annoying voiceover, then don't watch the director's voiceover here. But this, I remember, took so long. Getting the timing of watching these guys and then going b back over and catching me jumping over with that angle. This took me a few takes. Zoom in here and then get him coming over at the end of me jumping over. It that is at that these took times me a we lot see of shots. the Tio scavenge for material. Though this may not help his hunger issues or killing other players, this will help him in the defensive route of gameplay. When in the wild we see Tio thrive with these materials, as if someone tries to take on the Tio, he will build his own building regardless of location. Love the subtitle style. Thank you. Um, when I finished the video completely, uh, I remember I was very tired and I just wanted to go rest. And I talked to Alex about it and asked her if she could subtitle the whole thing. Alex subtitled this whole video. I d we agreed on a style and then she sat down for maybe an hour, hour and a half and just wrote subtitles for the whole thing in this style because I was, I was too tired to finish it. <laughs> in the past, we've seen Tio come in many different shapes and forms. But as time has gone on, he has evolved to a black suit with black, slick hair. This allows him to not only blend in, but look good while doing it. So I think a reason people don't realize is this is all improv is because I'm playing the game with Floppy on my Discord and he's talking to me. And when I was running here, right, when I'm running here and he said, but look good while doing it, I then reacted to that and started crouching and strafing to the side, not thinking I'm going to set up a camera right there because I didn't even know what I was going to do until later. But that's it looks really set up. But it's because I'm just reacting to him saying it. And that's why I start strafing like that. So there's all these fucking layers, you know, like, but because of that, it looks set up. It looks like we've just planned it all. And it's just like a custom game. But it's just, it's me. He said that. And I was like, all right. And I crouched and started strafing. So also people don't usually catch this, but I had a camera in this tree that then starts buzzing Last, when it gets cut down. We've seen Tio come in many different shapes and forms. But as time has gone on, he has evolved. To a black so if you watch now, when he says it, slick hair. I then react this allows and start strafing. Him to not only blend in, but I, look yeah. good while doing it. I said it to slow-mo, so he said it around here, and I just started. Isn't the raw gameplay up on more Tio? It might be. Yeah, it is. I'll show you that after so that you can understand how it worked. A 
A meteor strikes the plains. This is a sign that time has passed and that enemies are pushing into Tyr's location. With three kills on the board, Tyr's is seen as a threat by the opposing players. Silence on the battlefield. This has been seen in the past as a bad thing, but right now, Tyr is using his opportunities to get these materials. You know, I've decided I'm going to come with semi-regular director's commentaries. Don't know what the series is going to be called, but I'll be doing this every now and then with videos that I have a lot to say about, maybe videos that did well, videos that I'm proud of. And they'll be going up on more TO, so this is the first one. Hello, people. It's nice, it's cozy, it's fun. I found out I have a lot to say about stuff, so... Unfortunately, this means it is a sign for other players to see his location. It's at these times we discover the Tio starts to hunt. With 23 on the board, his goals are usually to get 8 kills. This is for the dreaded content. When the content opportunities arise, Tio's personality change. He starts to become rabid. And he must strike, regardless of scenario. You Even know what I love about Floppy? We sit down and we're playing games, and this is in the middle of a session, and then all of a sudden we're playing, and he puts this on, and I go silent, and it's just like the content flows, right? Floppy's just, he just keeps going, and I'm sitting there like, mainly quiet, a laugh here and there to him, um, to him coming with funny, like, documentary things. And we're really, we're really just like, connect in that way really well. I fucking love it, man. Like. If you watch the raw video, we'll check it out after just to show. It really just started, and then I started like acting a bit slow and crouching in bushes. And it really connected really well, man. And and man, that guy, yeah, he really breathes content. Yeah, he's very good at uh, this kind of stuff. It's it's just very funny. I at love the it. cost of a win, a sniping shot rings across the horizon line. Tio hears this and becomes hungry. He's pushing towards the sounds. He sees one player and hears of two others. I was very happy with this music. He's going to prioritize the one closest to him. I struggled finding good music for this part. In the past, we've seen this happen, and he has been sandwiched by two potential threats. In this scenario, Tio is This was a bitch with timing, that zoom. He sees the battle it out. Two players fight against one. Tio joins the battle. Earlier we saw the Tio in a defensive line of sight, now we see him in the offensive. A great display of predatorial lifestyle. I, I can't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure that if we watch the Raw VOD, I had a bit of a... Uh, like, I mean, like, because I think I killed all three of them. My nades just nailed them and shit. I remember being so surprised. I can't remember if I stayed quiet about it or not and need for more material. A jump right around this point, I remember, right around this point, it's about 5 a.m., 4 or 5 a.m., and I'm so fucking tired. And I, I look at the match, and I'm like, fucking hell, there's still another, you know, three minutes to do. And I was, I, at this point, I'm, I'm like heading for the finish line. And I started, I don't think I got very lazy with it, but I remember being so done at this point. This will be greatly utilized by the tier, tier, tier species as he pushes for that victory. In the past, we've seen the jump pad utilized for offensive and defensive maneuvering. Six players have been sent back to the lobby by the Wild Tio. A struggle unbound. The weather is pushing towards Tio as he has to migrate back to his homeland, a.k.a. the retail road pastures. Added a wind sound effect. He now realizes his mistake. He should not have left his homeland as he has to go protect what he fought over so desperately. He sees buildings in the distance. He tries to negotiate with himself. Are they enemy or are they past stories of his battles? He bandages. 75 health is a maximum he can get in this situation, but it'll do. The Tio has seen worse scenarios in the past. He dwindles the numbers. With 11 left on the board, the Tio is hyped, as they say, in his colony. 
He builds a structure. He prepares for This is such early Fortnite, man. Like, if, if... Someone like me would never be able to do this in Fortnite today. This is when I really enjoyed Fortnite. Because just coming up and making a stairway and a couple of walls, that's enough to survive. These days you'll have some fucking Bob the Builder come running, he sprints in, makes a fucking fortress, a moving fortress, you know, comes in and blasts you by editing a wall and shit. It's just not fun anymore. Back then, I still, Fortnite is still the game that I've streamed the most, because I had so much fun. The, fa the first half year or so, I played so much Fortnite, because it was genuinely really fun to play. Before, before everyone got crazy building, I, I really enjoyed it. For a long night. He spots an enemy. Unfortunately, he has also been spotted. This is what's known as a 1v1 at a distance. A third party member has joined the battle. Tio doesn't like this. He uses the jump pad we mentioned earlier and pushes towards the fight. He takes an advantage position. It's an easy kill. Unfortunately, in this scenario, we see the Tio get taken out by another predator. The predator was wearing a default skin and is otherwise classed as a noob. <laughs> this angers the Tio as he prepares to go into battle for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Dude, as soon as you started, I crouched and started moving really I slowly. Know, I, know. <laughs> I sort of panicked to come up with that. <laughs> uh, jump pad, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Right. I thought I'd join the f Dude, was this streamed? I don't remember that it was streamed, actually. Fight to kind of spice things up in the commentary. Yeah, yeah it was good, yeah. You're just like mixing up the speed. I noticed that you were like crouching, crouching, and you started running and building. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I gotta go with it. <laughs> I forgot it was streamed. Um, yeah, so this was just genuinely in the middle of a session. And um, so the, 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 the way I... At this point, I realized it wasn't staged. Yeah, so the way I edited this was it starts off as a documentary, right? And you don't, unless you watch the raw video on Mortillo, or unless you just know from the stream, you don't know that it's not set up and that it's, you don't know it's all improvised in the middle of a game until the very end. And so I edited this to make it so it's at the very end and it's like, oh, it'll shock you. And you're like, oh shit, this was live? Like this was streamed? Like this, was, this wasn't all set up in custom and stuff with him like commentating after? What the hell? And I think that might be a reason that it didn't do... It did well, 314, but compared to a lot of other videos, I was hoping it would do a little better. And I think it's because people think, as they start watching, they'll watch a minute and they'll think, what is this, you know? I think that it's funnier knowing that it's improvised and knowing, knowing that it's just a game and it's improvised. I think that if I would have started... If I would have do it... If I do it all again... Um... Following was all streamed live. Yeah, but I still think, I don't think that's enough. Listen, when it comes to viewers, you have to fucking spell it out for them. You have to write here. Uh, I have to come in and I have to say, hey, viewer, um, we were playing a game and Floppy died early, in, as I said in the description, and started commentating my game. So I made a blah, blah, blah. You have to really spell it out for you. I, I spelled it out for you guys twice because people were confused. I think that people who don't edit as well, they're like, what, how do you get, how would you get his voice after? You have to really spell it out for people. And so I think people watch a minute of it and, and they get bored because they think that it's just Yoink. like, oh, okay, someone's just, I think knowing that it's improvised, maybe it would have done a little better. When this first came out, um, I think it was like Xbox magazine. They had like a million view, uh, followers and some other magazine, some slightly smaller magazine. These like gaming magazines. Um, made articles about the video and were like, holy shit, this is really funny. Like, and they explained it and stuff. Um, there, was a, there was a big, and I, there was a big reaction in the comments. It, it, it was a great video, it did well, but I always get comments about it saying, I'm surprised it didn't do better. And I think that's the reason why. And I also think that people who see Fortnite, a wildlife documentary, that doesn't sound very exciting, you know? So that's the main reason I don't think it did better. Um, the most hilarious documentary about Fortnite you've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, compared to my other Fortnite videos, they, from this time period, all have at least half a million views. A lot of them up towards a million. So 
I think I think it's the title and the fact that I maybe wasn't clear with what's going on in it. Um, anyway, that's uh, my fort. That's when you ask me what is mm. one of the videos that I'm most proud of. Um, this is in honestly the top three, I'd say. Let me show you how it started. Are you chasing a guy? There's a guy on the south. I'm one. <laughs> here, you got Bobby this. dies here. Oh, I had two bullets left. Are you fucking kidding me? He's got a shotgun. I'm coming. You're gonna execute me, Adol. Or you, buddy. Or you. Okay. We jump on board with Tia, Tia, Tia. This species is unique to the lands of Retail Row. So we After literally were just playing a game and then went into documentary mode. <laughs> like, it's literally just like... And I think when you're watching the video, the edited one, you're like, there's no way this is all improv. But it literally was just us playing. And I think Tio, that's not Tio, obvious Tio enough. <laughs> to make his way into different building sets around his current location. You should have included that part at the start of the video, when Floppy dies and then it swaps over. Fun fact, the initial, when I had it edited, up until I made the video, one of my edits was, to choose from, in the beginning, was the one I went with, which, um, was this. That it just starts like this, very documentary feel. And I had another one that started like that, that it starts with that first cut, and him saying it. And, um, I think if I would have done that, it could have been a little bit more... Um, clear what's going on, you know? After this creature has found an Earth, currently on two different scenarios. Looking back at it, I really like the way it's edited. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't kick myself too much about it. But when people ask, like, oh, I'm surprised it didn't do better. That's why I think it didn't. One. I do want to see when he says I'm sexy or whatever. He takes advice. I do remember being quite... Somewhere here. The Slav Dance. Here, this is the Slav Dance part. Tio comes out on top. The Slav Dance. As a sign of victory and mating dance, the Tio moves into the Slav. This allows creatures of many variants to see him at a distance and know of his I'm victory. I'm gonna look up one other part that I remember. If a female were to be nearby, this would be. A great day. One second. <laughs> you see, I'm laughing every now and then. I cut all of that out. <laughs> the Tio 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 is a smart player in this environment. Where is that fucking part? When I go, when I put on the sexy music. I'll show you what I meant that I started z strafing when he said it. In the past, we've seen Tio come in many different shapes and forms. But as time Here's. has gone on, he has evolved to a black suit with black slick hair. This allows him to not only blend in, but look good while doing it. <laughs> a meteor strikes the planes. This is a. That's literally it. And then I slow mode that because he said, "Look good." Yeah, that's uh, yeah enough enough of that. But that's uh, that's a video I'm probably most proud of. There's a few others. Which one's next? Catch us next time on the next director's commentary. That was fun. I don't know what I'll call it. It, uh, I think I'd enjoy doing a video, a series where I, um, I could do this for other videos as well. I think it'd be fun.